The brother says, why don't you propose now? Very loud voice. And as soon as he said that and brought the ring to me, my Adiola ran out of the house. I didn't run out of the house. You I ran, ran into my room. House. Because I wasn't expecting it. I was really, I was shocked. We met in church. We had been going to the same church for a while, but I didn't really notice him. But in 2016, um, I was coming out of church on a Sunday and he was going into the building. So he stops me and he's like, oh, congratulations on your engagement. And I, I just mumbled something and I, and I walked away. But the week after, I walked up to him and I'm like, oh, sorry if I was being awkward. And it's because I was engaged before, but I'm no longer engaged. I wasn't sure how to answer you on that day. And you know, that's how we, we chatted for like a minute, but that's how we started talking. She left work to start a business with her sister. Now, you know how startups can be, you know, cash flow problems and all that. And then I got robbed. The kindness of her heart, she bought me a phone. I knew she didn't have any money, but she bought me a phone. And that kind of kindness, wow, it, it, yeah. For me, it was in 2017 as well. I lost my brother on Mother's Day. and. I saw my brother just sitting on a chair, so I didn't know what to do, but he's a doctor and he was the first person that came to my mind. So I called him and I explained everything to him and he came rushing to the house with his mom. He wraps my brother up, you know, takes him to the hospital and he was there with me throughout, just comforting me and everything. But at some point I broke down and he just held me and he was just being my strength at that point in time, being my support and just being there for me. But at that point where he held me, I was like, oh, okay, you know what, dear like, you love this one. Yes, at that point, I just realized I have fallen in love. I had my, the ring close by at every point in time because I figured it has to be one of those special propositions, right? And a day came when her parents were in the house. The house was full, her brothers, her sisters, everyone was in the house and then, I figured now is the time and I called the other brother out and I gave him the ring and we talked about how we were going to do it and we went in. So I began a conversation that got my wife very excited. But I, I thought she said we were going to get married. She said, and she now goes on about long story and then the brother says, why don't you propose now? Very loud voice and as soon as he said that and brought the ring to me, my Adiola ran out of the house. <laughs> she came back and then I did the whole get down with me and propose properly. So when it was time to get the ring, I went to my brother. Now he is a bit of an expert on these things and he told me, okay, how much is your budget? Now they say two and a half months. That's what they say. And you know, I told him my budget was. And he told me about cuts, clarity and all. He gave me a lecture. And then, you know, we ordered the ring, I had it brought into the country and I held it. Waiting for that moment where I fell, Adela, marry me. <laughs> so they see two and a half months there, eh? but they see this secret. <laughs> I'm probably going to take it to my grave. <laughs> when buying an engagement ring, you're looking at the four C's. Um, the cut, the clarity, the color, and the carrot. The clarity is when the stone is actually very, very clear. To the naked eye, you won't be able to see any blemishes or any infractions. But when it's not clear, it, it now becomes, it looks opaque, uh, milky. The clearer it is, the more expensive the stones are. The carrot is just the weight of the stone, the size of the stone. Obviously, the bigger the carrot, the more expensive the stone. Then the cuts, you've got the fancy cuts, uh, you've got the normal cuts, you've got the round cut, uh, round cut diamonds, you've got the marquee cuts, the pear-shaped cuts, the baguettes, those are the fancy cuts. Those cost more money as well. Then you're talking about the color. Diamonds come in different colors. You've got the clear white diamonds, then you've got the You've got yellow diamonds, you've got red diamonds, you've got black diamonds. The colored diamonds are rare. So that doesn't necessarily mean that they're better. It just means that they're rare, it means that they can be more expensive. So it depends on the person's taste, really, how you choose. Generally, people tend to 
use diamonds for the engagement rings. But it doesn't have to be a diamond. It can be a sapphire, it can be a ruby, it can be an emerald. It could be birthstones, you know, um, any form of, you know, gemstone that the lady likes or the man, you know, likes. It just really depends on their own taste. The first thing you need to do is set a budget. There was a rule in the old days that you need to spend your two month salary to get the perfect ring. But that was then and this is now. The rule is really, what can you afford? I know she would like to show off the ring to her friends and family and you want to impress, but the ring is just the beginning of your journey together as a married couple and there will be lots of other expenses. So set a budget. Now in setting the budget, we like to assume that you have been planning to propose for a while and you set some money aside for the ring and other wedding expenses. But if you don't want to or you cannot save, there are other options available like the unsecured personal loan, UPL, from Stanley IBTC. So the UPL is a loan product that requires zero collateral and gives you access to cash of up to 10 million Naira. And you can pay back over anywhere from 12 months to 48 months. All you need to do is have a salary account domiciled with the bank for at least six months. So make that move, knowing fully well that your financial needs are covered. Mm -hmm. 